Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Here we are on the 4th of July weekend, as you would expect, hot weather. This is what's happening right now. Temperatures 91 in Boise, Mountain Home. It's 88 in Ontario, 85 in Twin. Some high cloud covers moved on in, but there are no storms out there right now. In fact, we've got a live view looking out towards the west here in Caldwell, and you can see the high cloud streaming on in, but really no lightning around. That was in northern Nevada earlier today. Those storms have broken up, continuing to track to the east and dying out. Tomorrow, probably a similar story. If anybody gets dry lightning in the state tomorrow, Tomorrow, possibly the Southern Magic Valley, and then maybe some of the higher peaks around Stanley Sun Valley. But right now, I don't think that'll be the case. Speaking of the higher elevations, let's take a look at what happened in McCall today. Look at that sunshine as the sun was going down today. Blue skies only. Temperature 91 for the high. It's been in the 90s for many days now. 50s in the morning, very cool and comfortable. So if you've got friends that are vacationing in McCall or that live in McCall, uh, we're probably a little bit jealous here because it's cool and comfortable in the morning and beautiful, as you'd expect. You've got a chilly lake, so it's nice when you have the hot temperatures, and that's the case. 92 in Haley today, officially at the airport, 92, so the Sun Valley area looking nice again. There could be those isolated thunderstorms on some of the peaks, maybe around the sawtooths tomorrow, but in the meantime today, talk about a pick location. 43 in the morning in Stanley, 88 in the afternoon. Now that's some nice weather. It will be similar during the day tomorrow as well, but we're going to see some cloud cover kind of creeping its way in. In the Magic Valley, it's been hot, but we haven't had the storms over the last couple of days. Just a slight chance of bringing some in towards Twin, mostly south of Twin. With that 101 high today, it'll be near 100 during the day tomorrow. Here's that high thin cloud cover kind of streaming up and melting away. These storms will fade away, but tomorrow, another wave of clouds could move in, and hopefully it will, so it will dim that sunshine. A little bit because all we have right now is that huge ridge of high pressure down here keeping the heat around, but it's weakening and it will slack to the south a little bit. Slightly cooler weather is going across northern Idaho right now. We may get a little more of an influence as we head towards Sunday. We're going to bring some thunderstorms up during the day on Sunday. That's the best chance in the valley that we've seen in a long time to get some showers or storms. And the increased cloud cover and the weakening of that high pressure likely both to combine to bring temperatures below 100 finally. It could feel quite comfortable with the cloud cover. Tomorrow night, this is what it looks like around fireworks viewing time. I don't see any thunderstorms except in the Waihees and maybe the Southern uh, Magic Valley, possibly around Stanley Sun Valley, only in those higher peaks. It is Sunday. Notice the green increase. There could be some storms pushing through, maybe even in the late morning on Sunday. So keep that in mind. It is Sunday, the best chance for some thunderstorms, and finally dropping the temperatures below 100. 102 in Ontario, 100 Emmett, 100 Meridian. Sunshine, a few clouds increasing later in the day. Could be about 102 or 103 in CUNA tomorrow, not 104. But we'll kind of keep it a little bit lower. 104 in Riggins tomorrow, 91 in Long Valley. It's going to stay hot again, so it'll be a hot 4th of July as you expect. Some great weather. But again, if you're out there for a while, good to hydrate and try to seek some shade and some air conditioning at times. It will still be in the mid to upper 80s. Beautiful weather in Stanley and Sun Valley tomorrow with some clouds coming in. And in the Magic Valley, I do think we'll have sunshine, but also some clouds increasing with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s, around 99 and twin. Again, there's that increasing cloud cover. Here's my extended forecast. Finally, light at the end of the tunnel after nine straight 100 degree days, tying that all time streak for Boise. After the Independence Day tomorrow, we should slip below. 100 on Sunday, and if we get a lot of cloud cover, this could be lower. It may drop as low as 91 on Friday, and look at that, a chance with some thunderstorms coming in. In the mountains, a chance with storms later in the week, but also on Sunday, that would be a better chance with some storms coming in. And since it is the 4th of July, a very appropriate YMC mechanical weather picture of the day. This photograph was taken today near Banks by Kyle. And uh, Kyle, what a great shot that mm -hmm. is. Excellent. If you've got some photos you'd like to send on it, maybe with the fireworks tomorrow, send them to iContributed, KIVITV.com. All right. Thanks, Scott. Stay with us. We'll be right back.